Hi guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's me again. I know, right? Can you guys hear my dog in the background? Let me show you my dog. Buka, over here. Say good morning. Over here, mama. Over here, look, up here. Say good morning. Oh no, who's that? Is that me? Anyways, I know it's like 4.30 in the morning. Buenos dias. Good morning, Jennifer. She was doing that, and I'm trying to wake up, and I'm tired, you know? But I couldn't sleep, and I tried to put her in bed. She usually sleeps with us in the bed. Well, us, because my son's here, but as soon as my fiancé comes back. That sounds so sweet. Anyways, I couldn't sleep anymore, and um, I'm looking at all the stuff I have to do here in my house, and my neighbors decided to call the parking enforcement again, which is cool, because I already have them in the bag, with uh, reason, of course, I'm not taking advantage of the fact that I've been here 24 years, and I'm parked right in front of my house, Okay. When I was sitting here and I was thinking, I'm looking at all the mess I have on my desk and I usually just come home and I'm tired and I just put everything on my desk and then I go ahead and I get up the next morning. Like I'm now. And my body's starting to get used to back to waking up at this time instead of going to sleep at one or two in the morning. Because the sun doesn't go out, doesn't go down until about nine at in Oregon. But I wanted to share with you guys because I've been busy. I've been back and I've been really busy organizing, taking care of my clients, um, getting my payroll together. And I'm looking at this mess and I'm thinking, oh my God, timesheets are coming up. And I have people that I help every two weeks and every month. So I wanted to tackle on some more. I want you guys to, um, if you guys need help with your timesheets, okay? I talked to a wonderful gentleman yesterday and he is much older than me. And when he told me about the electronic timesheets, I could hear in his voice that he was scared. And he said he didn't understand. And he said he went to get some help and the young ladies were like, oh yeah, it's easy, it's a piece of cake. You know, you can do it. But he said, yeah, it's kind of like when you ask directions. When you ask for directions and they tell you, oh, it's okay, you won't miss it, just keep going straight. And next thing you know, you missed it, but it's, it was right there. And I said to him, you know what? Um, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. He said he tried to enroll in the electronic timesheet, uh, portal, but he chickened out and didn't press any buttons because he didn't know what he was doing. And I said to him, you know what? It's okay. You didn't chicken out. What you did was you saw that the next step that you were going to take forward was not a firm step. So you decided not to take that step. And I want you guys to see this, okay, what I'm saying. Because it doesn't matter the amount of knowledge that you have. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you feel that the step that you're going to take forward is not firmly planted, don't take it. I tell my son when I'm going to make a left turn, when I'm driving, I'll make the left turn anytime. But if I have to think about it twice, I'm not even going to bother thinking. I'm just going to stop. So I told him, don't worry about it. I'm going to help you. 
and I'm going to teach you little by little. Now I want to I want to say and I'm actually really really happy because my my pattern of my schedule for going back to what I used to be is starting to get back to normal. <laughs> and that's awesome because my recipients are doing better, especially John, especially John. I walked in on him the day I came back and he was standing in the kitchen washing dishes. <laughs> and I said, to, I said, oh my goodness. So every time I go in the door and I, before I enter somewhere, if I open the door, I'll crack it open and I'll say, knock, knock. Because we're supposed to announce ourselves when we come into a, into the room, and that's what nurses do in hospitals and the doctors, because that's your privacy. So when I said knock knock, and I saw him standing there, I said, "Oh my God, this is amazing!" And then I said, "What are you doing?" He says, "Well, I'm hungry, and I want to make breakfast, and it's going to take hours." And I said, "Really?" And I just started talking to him, and. I didn't even ask him what he wanted. <laughs> I just started dancing circles around him. I got the coffee done. I got his cereal. His um, he, he had a bagel that I cut up in little pieces. He had a Pop-Tart, um, a half a cup of juice, you know, and, and, and he's still standing in the same position. And I'm like, come on, my little foot, you know, is that flat? And he's like, I'm trying. I was like, well, go for it, you know, so... My schedule is starting to go back to normal. And this man knows, and they all know they can call me whenever they want. Because I'm basically on call 24-7. But as I'm sitting here at 4 o'clock in the morning listening to her, I have to change the boiler in the back of my house because it's leaking. Something I'm going to do this week because my water bill is going to be high. But I'm sitting here staring at my desk, and and I'm not going to, I'm a little embarrassed, but not really, because I know I clear it up. But just so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about, okay, because this is, right now, this is the disaster that I have, not just on my desk, but also on my paperwork for the county, which I've already turned in, and my house, and my clients, and but the beautiful thing about this, I don't want you guys to get scared, is that as soon, as soon as I wake up, like right now, I guarantee you that by 7 o'clock, it's taken care of. It takes me focusing on getting it done. So, this is the mess I have. You see my desk? Well, this is my, my tiny office. Where I have my files and my printer and my desk. I have one laptop here. I have, no, you didn't see that, another laptop there. You know, I have leftovers from yesterday, all the mail that I got. See, coffee. Well, this is for my um, cheladas. Yeah, got to put it in the kitchen. Um, can you guys see all of that? All of that. I have to take care of it. And I will. I'm going to get this. This place is going to be cleared up. My kitchen is good. My boys help. My boys, my son helped me. And I'm like, oh my God, here comes timesheets. But it's okay. I'm going to get this done. And I said, okay, I know. There's a lot of people. I just had a, a young lady ask me a question yesterday. She said that um, she... She lives in LA County and she only got, um, she's still making $12.60. And I said, those three counties that got a raise, San Francisco, Mono, which is next to Siskiyou County, which is in Siskiyou County. And um, at least that's what I understood. And LA County, LA County is LA County. Okay. So if you want to know if you got a raise, I told her, don't worry because on the timesheet from July 1st to July 15th, you are going to see that raise in your check. So by the 25th of July, she should know if she is in L.A. County. And that's okay because 
for a long time, I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what LA County, you know, I didn't know what county I lived in, really, honestly. And I'm not, I don't care what people think. I didn't know. I was 17 years old, and I thought that there was only black, white, there was white people. We had we had one white guy in our neighborhood, and we called him Wero. We had one black guy in our neighborhood, we called him Negro. We had one Asian guy, and we called him, guess what? Yep, Chino. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of them were all a bunch of Mexicans. That's what I thought, okay? So when I moved out, there's, there's white Africans. <laughs> I didn't know that either. You know, there's Samoans. When I came to Long Beach, oh, my goodness gracious. What is that? Where did that come from? You know, um, when I moved out to Torrance, when I was in high school, after in, in my senior year, I moved out to Torrance, there was Koreans, Vietnamese, Filipinos, Hondurans, the, the Salvadorians. So what I'm trying to say with that, you guys, is that we don't know everything, Okay. And I want to stretch my hand out there because there's a lot of people right now that are providers that don't know everything. And if you're seeing this, please, please, please do not be embarrassed. Please do not be, share my videos, talk to people, you know, um, Tell them there's a chubby Mexican girl out there with an attitude that knows how to do this. She's crazy. Yeah, she's crazy. But, but man, she's on point, you know. She knows what she's doing. And I will help you. So give me a call. Let me know. Give me some time. I talked to another young lady yesterday. She said that they delayed her timesheets because she, something about... When a recipient lives in a county, and haha, ha, see, I just got something that came in and I didn't get cut off because of you guys. Thank you. We're up at 1020 subscribers, which is like super amazing, right? Yay. There's a lady that lives in L in takes care of a, uh, she has a recipient. And I helped her with, I don't know how many time sheets. It was a lot of them. And I said to her, send these out. And you're going to get paid in less than 10 days. Well, she called me yesterday. And she said to me, you know what, Sandra? They, I called the social worker. And she said that my case, my recipient's case for those timesheets are coming out of another county. And I'm thinking, okay. I've seen this happen before. I said, she goes, but I'm worried, Sandra, because I want to donate to you. And you have worked really hard. And I said, you know what, sweetheart? Don't worry about the donation. Let's get your paperwork in order. I have faith. So what are you doing now? She says, well, now I have to wait in the mail for these um, timesheets to come in. And I said to her, no, no, you have a choice. You can wait for the new timesheets to come in because they're coming in from the right county, which I already know what happened there. And that's once, when, you, you, when your recipient changes from county to county, it changes from office to office, okay? So you have to, when you change from a, a direction into another county, you have to notify the new county that you're moving into that, guess what? I am now living in your county. I am now living near your office. My case now transfers over to this office. Can you please get this in order? And all they have to do is transfer the files from your previous county to the new county, Okay. So this is what happened to her. And she says, well, now I have to wait. I said, no, you don't. This is, I said, do you have an email address? She said, yes. Are you registered on the electronic timesheet portal? She says, yes. I said, because I'm also registering people. And that also has a donation where I'd register one recipient, one provider. You know, and I put, I link them together. It's it's time and effort that I put on my computer. It's a lot of val a lot of personal information that I give you my word that nobody else is going to get except myself, okay? So I think I've gained I've tried to prove who I am and I've tried to show you guys that I'm trustworthy because I mean, I know I am, but I have to prove it because trust is earned, okay? So I help people do that also, and I teach them, and I train them. And because my schedule is coming back to normal, 
the nearby people that live next, you know, close to me or even a little far away from me, it doesn't matter. I'll travel to them because it's worth it. Me coming out and saying, hey, here, do it like this. Um, excuse me. So she said she was already enrolled in the electronic timesheet portal as a provider. I said, good. So the next thing I want you to do is tomorrow or today, as soon as you get it done, I want you to create an email address for your recipient. Good morning. Let's see, what do we got here? She says, Miss Angelique. Oh, wow. I should probably wear my glasses, huh? So I'm not squinting. Hang on a second, you guys. So Miss Angelique says, is it, tr is it true that timesheets are going paperless? Yes, they are. They're going to be paperless as of January 2020, okay? Right now, they're in a pilot where you have to get on board and you have to... Um, enroll as a provider and you have to enroll your recipient as a provider, which is why you need, um, which is why you need, oh my God, I was going to say it in Spanish, which is why you need an email. So in order to enroll in the electronic portal system, you have to have an email because you're going to get emails that are going to be sent to your, to you telling you that your timesheet has been approved. So the first step is to get an email address, any email address. People are giving them away, okay? Um, but it's not mandatory until January 2020, okay? Mm, I don't know what BTW means. Oh, I learned how to do my timesheets thanks to your videos. Gracias, amiga. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, sorry. He's a guy. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> it says Angelique. Well, good morning to you, and I'm so sorry. He says he's a guy. Okay, cool. I know, right? Thank God I put on my glasses. Um, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. Good. Good for you. I am going to tell you one more thing, though, okay? Yesterday when I went to the county office... <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. Yesterday when I went to the county office, you guys, because I had to turn in my paperwork, and this is what I talk about hard copies, okay? There was a lady there that wanted a printout from 2017 and 2018 of all the payments that they received, okay? Because something for a mortgage, I don't know. I saw them struggling, and I walked up to the lady, and I said to her, here, this is my card. If you need some help, call me. I can give you advice. She says, I know you. I've seen you. I follow you. You know, it's like, oh, my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it the balls? Is it the balls? You know? But I found out that it is against regulations to give printouts of your check stubs anymore. Something federal, blah, blah. Before we used to get a printout of our, of our payments. Now we don't, okay? We have to keep records of our check stubs. And this woman, of course, didn't have them. Or was missing some, or whatever the case may be. So I asked. I said, well, then you can't get a printout of your payments that you have received through IHSS, but you have to turn in a form. And it's more of a waiver that says, yes, please release these records to me. So I'm, I have paperwork from 1994 when I started doing this. Um, you know, not, not doing this when I started being on my own. But not everybody has that, okay? And that's okay. So now this woman needs them by Friday. She's turning all the proper paperwork. And, and I wanted to help her some more. But if she wanted my, because I had more, I had more information for her. 
but some people sometimes think that they know way too much and they don't need your your help and i can tell i can tell who is humble enough and you know open enough to accept my information and i wish that they would have asked me because i had more information for them I could have gotten them, the, for example, they're asking for a phone number for someone in the office. She's asking for the fax number, and it's embedded on the back of my head. And I'm telling her, I told her the fax number before. When she, when they, when she said, um, I need the fax number, I said, oh, it's 310-761-2010. You know, and I pulled that out of the back of my brain, and... She said, that's fine. She's giving it to me. I said, okay. But the phone number for the supervisor that she needed, they told her to call the direct line, which is the um, provider uh, helpline. And I'm sitting there going, if that woman knew that I have that supervisor's direct line, she could get she can get through a lot sooner but i could tell that she did not want my help so i just kept my mouth shut and minded my own business i've already offered my help i could have had her sit there and call her directly on the phone while she was sitting there yesterday but you know what she didn't want my help so some people think they know more than others, and I try not to do that because my goal, goal is to help you, okay? So here comes July's timesheets again, and then he'll, here will come August's timesheets, and, and, and oh my goodness, I cannot wait until I already see the chaos once December is here and the panicking in people. So the reason I turned in the paperwork yesterday to... Well, of course, I only could do it yesterday. But the, la the last piece of paperwork that I turned in is the puzzle that I put together, okay? So the reason I mentioned the check stubs is because in the system for the electronic timesheet portal, um, there is only three months of records kept, okay? If, and we can't get more. And if you need proof of what you have worked, what you have gotten paid, then you have to go through this other lengthy, lengthy process. And what I told the gentleman, and I know I go in circles, but I always come back and finish the thought. At least I try to. The gentleman that I spoke to yesterday, I said to him, I am going to give you a copy of my blank timesheets. These are going to be your records. I will show you how to staple this with staple that. You know, you could take a picture of it. You could put it on the computer. I'm going to upload some pictures of um, some a couple of videos of us driving. And it went in this. It, we're all sitting in the front seat like, like typical Mexicans, you know how we all want to be shotgun. Well, in my 63 Chevy, there's no seatbelts, and I don't have to have a seatbelt. And in this particular video, it's my, you guys are going to laugh. It's my oldest son at the door. I'm next to him, and then my little son is next to me, and then my fiance is sitting next to my little son, and it's all four of us sitting shotgun in my 63, okay? And this was, and the back seat is like totally empty. Even the cops are laughing at us, like, where are you guys from? And my son's like, my mom, you know, this is like, oh, wow. So I'll put them up so you guys can see how fun it was. But the reason is, I didn't know that video was there until my fiance sent it to me. And I'm thinking, wow. Everything now is electronic, you guys, but I'm old, okay? And I like hard copies. So the blank timesheets that I'm going to be giving to this gentleman that wants to enroll in the electronic portal system, 
<laughs> yeah, we were all shotgun. <laughs> Except the driver. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. So I have a sound system in my car, right? And yesterday, I think there's something wrong with my fuel pump. I don't know. I'll figure it out today. My son had to push. <laughs> he said, you guys were all shotgun. And I'm like, yep. Okay. And then he says, the Mexican lifestyle is real with you. Hell yeah, you're going to love this one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yesterday, I don't know what went wrong with my 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 car, and then it died, and it was just my son and I. So then I told my kid, I go, here, get in the steering wheel. I want you to put, I, I'm going to push, and you go ahead, and you you um, get in the steering wheel. Get in the car, and this is still the 63, okay? Get in the car, and I want you to steer, and I'll push. He goes, no, mother. I'm going to go ahead and push. And I said, okay, cool. So I said, fine. It's a heavy car. He, it's 4,000 pounds. He thinks he can do it. Go for it. He was doing well when we were, we, it was one block, two blocks, three, blo wait, three blocks. It was three blocks. Okay. My car's dead. And I don't, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm a hot mess. So he pushed it. The first block was easy because it was downhill. We got to the second block. It was still easy because it was downhill and he had pushed it enough. But when I made a right turn, now it's not downhill. And this is the block. I'm block. I'm a block away from my house. So I said, you know what? I turned on the radio. I have a sound system in my car, okay, that you can hear blocks away. My son is in the back. He's 13, pushing with his Mexican chanclas, okay? And I just said, I'm going to turn on the radio. And I turned on. I plugged in the radio, connected it to my Pandora, and I started blasting my radio. And it's so funny because my, you know, like you're cruising. I was cruising. I was cruising. My kid was pushing my car, though. I was cruising. And he's all mad in the background, and I'm just laughing, laughing. <laughs> he pushed my car for three blocks, and the last block before we got home, I had the sound system on playing my oldies he couldn't believe it neither could I and then I made him park the parallel park the cars so that was cool but I keep it real you know and I try I try to I don't know but maybe when he gets old he's going to do the same things to his thing to his kid but the thing is it's like I'm so old that I like to have hard copies and this gentleman I'm like I'm going to give you my time sheets so you can keep copies of these. If that woman would have kept copies or could have kept copies or, you know, make a folder, put all your check slips in there. Um, she wouldn't have been going through what she's going through now. And this needs to be taken care of by tomorrow. And if it doesn't, she's going to have problems. But there's some people that think they know everything. And... I try not to be like that because if I don't know something, I will be the first one to tell you, you know what? I don't know. Let me find out. For example, another young lady has uh, asked me about travel time, okay? <laughs> Let's see what this says before I start this one. I can picture you with some lokes and driving like a chola while your son is pushing. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy you're... I found your channel, Sandra for Reels. Thank you. I kept all my hard copies of pay. Good job. Good job. And you know what? I didn't. I I wasn't wearing my lokes, but I, I had these ones on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me with my little fedora hat. You know, whatever. Um, that boy is a hot mess. Poor thing. I torture him, but I love him. But I try to stay, I try to stay, so this lady that has travel timesheets, she said to him, actually, this lady, I just got her a job with one of my ex-recipients, so from none hours, she went to 60 hours, okay, whatever. She's also a backup provider, okay, and she had asked me about travel, a backup provider is totally different. You're registered as a backup provider, and if a provider misses, it is a big, big, confusing mess, okay? 
she asked me about travel time and I said to her, she says, but I have another client. I said, what do you mean? She says, I do. I have another one. I worked yesterday one, one day for this one lady. Okay, you guys have to remember we get paid for travel time. Okay. And I actually found her another client in Whittier that's pending the gentleman to call me. So she says, I know we qualify once we turn in the paperwork for travel time. I know how that functions. But my question now was, if you're a backup provider, do you also qualify for travel? She has a steady recipient now that I got her. Will she qualify because she's still a backup provider for travel time? And I said, you know what? That is an amazing question. That is great. I don't know the answer. And that's the answer. I will go find the answer. Okay. Well, as soon as 7.15, I'll start looking at the clock. 7.59, 8 o'clock. As soon as 8 o'clock hits, that social worker, that this young lady that needed to talk to for, with the check stubs, I'm going to call her direct line at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll be like, excuse me, Miss blah, blah, blah. What do I do about this? Because that's an amazing question. But I, I'm not afraid to tell you I don't know the answer. And some people think they know it all. And they end up missing. I think that's why sometimes we have to stay silent and pay attention to what's around us. Just be quiet, be still, and just look. So I showed you guys my mess, okay, which is from yesterday when I walked in. But, oh, my God, look, I got a new Yoshi wallet. Five bucks, GameStop. I told my son, always go to the um, clearance rack. Always go to the clearance rack first. I'm not cheap. I'm not tight, but I am thrifty, and I stretch my dollars. I stretch my dollars. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I am going to teach you where to make more money. I am going to teach you how to make more money and stretch your dollars. Always, always, always. So if you guys need help with your timesheets, especially if you work more than 160 hours a month and is and, and qualify for overtime, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Please text me, call me, 562-281-3219. Uh, and hang on a second. And I will show you, show you where the money is. Okay. Now let's see this comment. Goodbye. I I always go to Clarence Racks and we're no shame in our game. Hell no. Hell no. Not when I work this hard. When I work this hard. For my money, I, I'm going to say, but if I want something, I will save for it and I get it. You know, my Cadillac's going to cost me about four G's. It's in, still in the shop. Four G's. I've been saving because I know that's what it's going to cost me. So when I get there, I'll be like, here you go. Here's 40 100s. That's four G's. But I got my Cadillac. You know, <laughs> I know. Yeah. All the Cadillac needs is a new grill like I do. But I got some teeth in my snap-on smile teeth that I bought because I want to smile. I like smiling. But you got to invest in what you want. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you guys need some help, if you guys want to learn, if you guys want to want to. If you guys want to want to. I'm, I'm right here. You call me. You text me. I'm going to start cleaning this mess up because I'm um, going to get another cup of coffee. Tell you guys I bought cigarettes in Oregon for $5.20 a pack. So I brought back four cartons. Because my Mexican ones. I got to go get my nails done. Maybe I'll pick up a couple more cartons. I don't know. Bottle of tequila. Miss some medicine. I don't know. But please, if you guys need help, share my videos. Show it to people. Give them my number. Have them call me. Okay, um, I got another young lady that makes, called me and said, I need some help with my timesheets. And I told her how much 
it would be for me to be able to assist her. And she says, oh, that's too much. I said, are you kidding me? I bet you you're not making $4,208 every month. She said, what? I said, yeah, go back and check on your check stubs. Go back and check on your check stubs. And she said, okay. And she went. And she checked on her check stubs. And sure enough, she texts me back. Hang on. She texts me back. And she said to me, Sandra, I only make $3,840. I said, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? And she said to me, but that's too much. I go, well, the choice is yours, sweetie. The choice is yours. I will make you $400 more. $400 more, bring you from $3,800 to $4,200. You're telling me that that's not worth me? What, what I'm telling you that it's going to cost you? as a donation for me to buy a new laptop so I can teach somebody else how to do their timesheets electronically. That's not a problem. Go ahead and keep making $3,800 a month. Oh, $3,840 a month. But if you want to learn how to make $4,200, you let me know. And she, 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 she texts me, but I just got back. But the fact that she was like, I can't pay that amount of money. Not a problem. And it, it was nothing. Okay. It was nothing in comparison to what she was going to make. I'm going to make you $400 and you have to pay me what? You have to donate to me what? And you think it's too much? Go get help somewhere else. Go get your accountant to do it for you. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make money for you guys. So let's see here. I live in Sacramento. I used to live out in so so Cal SoCal in Montclair. Oh, I've been there. If you ever want lunch, I got you. <laughs> we are nearby. Oh, well. My mom lives in Sacramento, man. I was out there last week. So yeah, for sure. Awesome. Text me your um text me and I'll keep it and and you don't have to buy me lunch. I'll buy you lunch because God is good. You hear me? God is awesome. He is good and he provides and I will share what I have, okay? So please, I got two people out there. One is one of them is like my superstar. She finally got the overtime like crazy and I was like, "Yay." And this is what I'm trying to teach you guys. Put more money into your pocket. Don't be like that $3800 lady that wants me to teach her for free. That wants me, go get your free help somewhere else. I'm not even asking for much. And I'm going to make you $400 more. Don't be like her, you guys. Don't be like her. Always be grateful for what you have. Always be grateful to give to those that help you. And that's what I teach my kids and that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to make a business and I'm trying to get, I don't need, what is it? I got, I showed you guys two laptops. I got three, I got four laptops, you guys. Four laptops right now. Now I need tables, now I need chairs, now I need an office, now I need, and I'm saving, man, I'm saving. And that 4G's that that Cadillac's going to cost me to fix and get out of the shop is my income tax money, okay? It is not the jackpot of $2,734 that I hit when I went to Pechanga. That money is still there, saved away, you know, I put it away to get interest for my office. I am saving for my office, you guys, so I can hire people. So that's in the future. Let me know if you guys need help, okay, for July. Text me, call me. I'll try to answer if I can. And I'll be more than happy to put $400 into your pocket that you haven't been getting since you've been working because you didn't know how to make it. But be conscious and knowledgeable and, and think. Always take care of the ones that take care of you, bottom line. That's just the way it is. And I think I'm more than fair. So my reputation on this channel, thank you, everybody. I, I wouldn't be without, um, I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. And I also wouldn't have gotten through without the support of my recipients, okay? Without support of the people that live around my recipients, because I just found out one of our one of the, the recipients in the building that I work in passed away two weeks ago. Broke my heart, you know, and I'm just like, oh, I feel bad. And it's a missing link, you know. But I told his wife, if you need anything, a hug, anything, I will try to help you. Please call me because I know how it feels to be laying in your bed crying to your pillow 
because you're missing this or missing that. So, <laughs> I'm here. I'll be your pillow. I'm chubby enough, right? I'm not Tempur-Pedic, but I'm chubby enough. Good, you guys woke me up. I think I'll wear makeup today. At least eyebrows. <laughs> God bless you guys. Keep going. Ask me questions. I'll try to put what I talk, talked about on the description right now. And um, let me know what's up. Let me know what's up. Let me Tell me how I can be of assistance to you. Tell me how I can make you more better okay god bless you guys thank you for watching i know it's awfully early and but i'm an early bird because i like the worms <laughs> let's go get some worms you guys god bless you guys and look at now she's sound asleep now she's sound asleep i should start snoring huh excuse me excuse me i would be sleeping if it wasn't for you earlier snoring wake up wake up Wake up. She's 18. And now I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> I think I'll blast the radio. My neighbors don't say anything. No, I'll be nice. I'll put on some classical music. Peggy Lee, Frank Sinatra, Billie Holiday, Louis Armstrong. Rah, 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 rah. Anyways, God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day, okay? I'm going to have to go to church tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yep, some oldies. <laughs> God bless you guys. Be good, okay? Is there any more questions for the people that are watching me? Ask me a question. Tell me. I'll try to answer it quickly because I know you guys have questions. And if you can't think, that's okay because it's not even 5 o'clock in the morning. Um... Text me and I'll answer your questions, okay? Going once, going twice. Okay, I'm gone. God bless. Bye.